What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So this one kind of follows on from my previous video where we spoke about how to find a quality audience on Facebook. I addressed things like the ideal audience size and showed you how to do flex targeting and things along those lines. Um, quite a few people seem to enjoy the video. Um, a lot of you asked for part two anyway. So this is where we are at today. And in this one, I'm gonna show you a few different ways of finding really high quality interests to use within your targeting on Facebook. So to kick it off then with method number one, um, a lot of people would consider this quite an extensive way to do it, but it's one of my favorite because it's one of the only ways in which you can guarantee you're picking interests that actually contain buyers. So the way this method works then is you want to find and add a video that's selling a product within your niche. Um, and what we're interested in is the actual comment section. So as you can see, this ad here has had quite a few comments, 300 comments, which is pretty decent. And there should be enough comments here for us to find some people and evidence that people have actually bought this product. So I'm just going to open it up um, just so we can see quite a few of the comments. We'll go back to the beginning and now what I'm looking for is people who have commented to say they've actually bought this product. So um, we've got Joanna here, they are small, my cousin dog loves her. So by the sounds of that, a cousin is the one who bought it. We've got Karen, our puppy loves hers. Um, so that would suggest that she's bought it. Patty Hayes has posted a picture, so that would suggest she has bought it too. Uh, moving down, my Yorkie didn't like it, it was so bad, so we could try her as well, by the sounds of it, she's bought one. Um, I want one for myself. Uh, see how much my dog loves this. So this is great, we've got perhaps four different people here that have each bought this product. So the next step is we wanna head over to their profile, we want to click on more and then we want to click on likes. And what this is gonna show us then is all the pages, i.e. all the interests that she's linked to that she has liked. So the reason I'm scrolling down so far then is just to open up as many of them as possible. It's completely up to you how far you go. Obviously, if you go all the way to the bottom, then you're going to be including every single one. For the sake of this video though, I'm gonna call it a day at that point there. And now what I'm gonna do is just hit Command F, put the word dog in, and you can see now there's one of four. So I'm just gonna go through these and then make a note of all the different interests that she's liked, that she's linked to, because these are potential interests we can target for our Facebook ads. So what I find helpful to do at this point is before you start copying them, in fact, um, is to have some form of a spreadsheet open, just somewhere for you to copy and paste them into. Um, and what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna go through all four of these just to show you the whole process from start to finish. And just to copy these across, just bear with me for two seconds. Uh, moving on to the next one, I love dogs. And then I believe there was one final one, which was bulldog lovers. So now that we've copy and pasted all four of these, uh, we could go even further, like I said, and keep expanding out the interests until we find every single one. But what we wanna do is move on to the next customer, go ahead to more. And as you can see, there's no likes button here. So what you will find, unfortunately, is that with some profiles, you can't do that. It will be limited. And unfortunately, that is the case for this profile as well. But to be honest, most of the profiles you look at should be good to go, to be honest. So for example, then this one, we can get into the likes as well. So again, we're just gonna scroll down open up as much as possible. There isn't actually that many on this page, um, but nonetheless, we will still wanna double check there's none under dog. However, because there isn't that many, I'm just gonna have a quick glance over myself so I can see this one looks like it's about dogs. Um, so I'm just gonna copy that one. And basically what you're trying to do then is just build up like a spreadsheet of loads of different interests that these people who have bought dog products are linked to. And once you've gone through say 10, 15, 20 different profiles, then what you'll find is some of the interests start to match up, some of the same interests start to crop up that you can make a link between. And they are the interests then that have that high performance capability and the ideal ones to use in your own ads because if you come across two or three people within that same interest, then there's going to be more buys within that interest, which makes it an ideal one for you to use as well. So that's the first method of the video. Um, now's probably a good time to announce the fact that I do give away a one-to-one -one call in every single video. So if you do want weekly chances then to win that, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and then to enter the competitions, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is hit the like button below this video and then leave a comment down below. In terms of your comment, it could be whatever you want 
can't just comment ecom it can be a question um, I do read every single comment so if there is a question you want to ask me then now is a good time and then the final thing you have to do is just tune into my next video where the winner will be announced so for example then at the end of this video I will announce the winner from the previous video with that being said then let's move into method number two and this is where we want to begin with them with the blank canvas and to show you what it's going to look like as we start to test audiences is something like this so basically what this is is all the different interests that you can target within the dog niche well not all of them all the one i've added and tested and then i've colored coded them which is an optional feature just to kind of um, in a illustration purposes or in a visual way of illustrating how successful I have been with them. Um, and orange simply meaning then that the results have kind of been a bit average and probably needs a bit more testing. So down the left side of each kind of like section is the interest itself with a link to the page, which is handy because it will take you straight to the Facebook page. So you can kind of keep a track on what kind of content they're posting, what kind of people are following this page. And the next thing is the audience size. This is really important too. If you watch my previous video, you'll know why. But basically to give you a quick summary, it's because when it comes to flex targeting it's handy to know which audiences are the largest and which ones are the smallest so back to the blank canvas then this is essentially what you'll be starting with if you haven't done this technique before and the reason for recording the interests that you've found and that you've used and having that initial feedback then with the traffic light system is it allows you to keep track then of the interests that you've actually used and tested and essentially how successful with you are um, one big thing with facebook ads that i recommend is every week every month is that you review your ads look at where things went right look at things that went wrong and having that traffic light system allows you to quickly identify the ones that didn't work so you avoid testing them again in the future and losing even more money so this is the blank canvas to start with then we've got one, two, three, four, five different sections to begin with. Obviously you can add as many sections as you like, but typically then these are the ones that I begin with, but obviously chop and change them up to match the niche that you are in. So the column headings I've chosen aren't at random. Um, they are relevant to the actual niche and these should be relevant to more or less any niche. So for example then, what you want to do when you're picking interests is find the interests that contain the buyers, the people who are already spending money within that interest. So to give you an example then if we were going to do this example for the golfing niche there's not going to be many people who aren't interested in golf and spend money within the golfing niche that use golfing websites because typically only the most passionate people about golf who follow it will go to those golf websites and therefore that makes it a good category of interests to test. So how do we actually go about finding interests? Um, the tool I use is called Audience Insights. I'm sure you've heard of it before. If you haven't, then I thoroughly recommend that you get to grips with this tool, how it works, and the kind of information it can give you because trust me, if you haven't used it yet, this will completely transform the results that you get with Facebook. So sticking with the golf niche as an example, we want to put it into the interests bar here. Always double check you are tagged in the correct interest so it doesn't skew your results. And what Facebook really kind of conveniently does is it categorizes the interests for us to make sure well, basically to find the easiest ones and then we can actually use those categories ourselves within our spreadsheet if we so choose to. Now, what you'll probably find is that by just simply putting your niche in, you might come across something really quite broad. Just flicking through these um, briefly, looking at these, there's not many that are actually truly that relevant to golf. So what I might do is get rid of this and try and put a different interest in that's even more specific. So if you just put golf in, see what comes up. So golf course, obviously that's pretty specific to golf. And to look at the results now, a few more of the results are coming up that are more specific to golf. So for example, sports and recreation, this could be brands, we've got TV shows, etc. So Callaway Golf, obviously, to my knowledge, they don't make anything outside of golf. So this might be a good interest to potentially target. Before you put them on the list though, there's one crucial point that you must do, and that is open up the Facebook page, look at the kind of content they're posting, and make sure it fits a buyer's profile. And essentially what a buyer's profile is then is if we just go through the types of content, um, we're looking for what type of content and the sort of people who are commenting on it too. So number one, we can see that they're pretty much just posting absolutely everything. All of their posts are about golf, which is good because what you want to do or avoid 
is targeting really broad interests solely. So for example then, if I was to target Under Armour, they make golf fin clothes, but they also make gym clothes, they also make running clothes, they also make cycling clothes. So there's gonna be a lot of those people included in that audience, even though they're not interested in golf. So you have to open up the page, look at the kind of content they're posting, and make sure it's purely specific, or the more specific it is to your niche, then the higher quality the audience is going to be. This one fits the profile, so now I can go back, I can copy this, head over to our spreadsheet, and then just put it in the correct one. So I know Callaway Golf is a brand, and then it's there, I've got the link, I can open that up, um, see how many likes and followers it's got, 730,000, and then I can fill in the corresponding box. So that's essentially how you fill in your first interest. With that being said then, you can keep going, go back to Audience Insights, and what I tend to do then is just work my way through this entire list. So the next one is obviously tight list. I'm gonna open this up, see what kind of content these guys are posting. 620K in size. They've got a golf in cover photo, which is good. The first post is about golf. The second post is about golf. The summary of videos is about golf. The photos are about golf. Everything is about golf. So this makes this a good one as well um, to potentially test. So I'm just gonna copy that put this back, I know they're a brand as well, and they're 620K. So keep working through then, now it is fairly time consuming, but trust me, you're at the end of it, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this, which is just full of high quality interests you can go out and test and target. And at some point you might come to a dead end. So for example, then once you've worked your way all the way through these ones, then what you wanna do is simply just take one of the interests from your list and then put that into the interests into the interest box over here. So if I put Callaway Golf, then it should bring me up a whole new list of whole new interests that I can go and investigate and then add to my list. Now, with that being said then guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hopefully I've made everything crystal, crystal clear. If I haven't, please do feel free to send me as many questions as you like. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button too. Um, it really helps the channel grow and we're fast approaching 10,000 subscribers too, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for all the support. And finally then, I'm gonna go into announcing the winner of that one-to-one -one call from the previous video. So here we are then guys on the previous video. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, please do go check it out. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm just gonna take the URL, head over to our random comment picker. I get YouTube comments, 27 unique comments, which is absolutely brilliant, so thank you very much. And the winner then of the previous video is Phil K. So thanks very much for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business and book a call right away, you can do so. Just check the links out in the video description below. There will be one there um, to book a call. With that being said, guys, thanks very much again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one.